Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a couple of IKEA side tables and turn it into a cool 3D printer enclosure. If you've watched my videos, you've probably noticed the 3D printer enclosure I have beside me. Often you can see the light flickering and the printer in motion as I cook up the next project. But today's video, I'm going to show you how I can make one of those with just a few IKEA side tables called the LAC table. Stay tuned, we're gonna get started. To join the tables together, you're gonna need four of each of these kind of brackets. First one to join the bottom two tables together. The second set is to give some extra height to fit the printer inside. I'm using number six drywall screws because they're black and they fit in nice with the color of the enclosure. After stacking the first two tables together, I lay out those joining brackets and then using the drywall screws, begin to fasten the brackets to the table leg. I'm doing all of the side pieces first, and then after lining up the legs, I then secure it to the table below. Those ones secured, it's now time to put the top piece on. These ones I modified a little bit to give a little extra length and you can see here that I need to secure them down through the leg into the table below. For getting the first one set up I needed to switch screwdrivers and uh, here I'm getting them started before finishing them off with a drill. Then I place the top table on top and secure it. I need to give a little persuasion on this one using the mallet and then secure the legs with some more screws. And when it's all done, you can see, very secure. For the next part of the project, to put the enclosure panels on, you're gonna need eight hinges, and you're gonna need 16 of these corner pieces. Each corner piece has a magnet that gets fitted in, there, rare earth magnet, and and that'll help to secure the panels so that they stay attached to the unit. I needed to peel the backing off the plexiglass so that I can see through to mark out the location of the things I need to drill. Now I'm just simply going around and installing those little corner pieces and once again I modified them from the original and detached them from brackets so now I just simply go around secure those in the corners with two screws and they'll be ready for my panels to go on. Now you can see here I'm using shims to lay out the panel and and I marked the location of the magnets with a marker. Wow. Then using a bit that allows me to both drill and tap at the same time, I'm now drilling out those spots that I marked. And then I will use quarter inch 832 screws and now those screws line up perfectly with the magnets now with that in place, I'm going to screw the hinges into the table leg and then go in behind with that drill and tap again and just mark those holes and then I'm going to use it to drill the places where the hinges will connect to the plexiglass panel. Wow. To get the plexiglass to size, I just simply went to a supplier with the dimensions that I needed and they cut it for me. That's secured, and that's how easy it is to now have hinges and a panel on each side. Now I simply do the same thing on all four sides, and my panels are finished. Here's a look at the finished project. This entire project cost about $80, including the tables, the panels, screws, and all of the 3D printed parts. I hope you found this video useful. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take a Raspberry Pi and turn it into a print server so you can disconnect from your PC and control your printer from anywhere in the world.